Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Agri Addict. So I'm Ari Prasad and today in this video we have All India Topper for the ICR PhD exam in the subject of soil science. So his name is Devnath and he has secured All India 9th rank in ICR PhD exam of 2024. So he is with us today to explain about the list of books that he has referred for this exam and the different things that he helped him to crack this exam. And he will be also providing the overall guidance to all the upcoming ICR, PG and PhD experience. He will be also talking about how to cover the syllabus for the PG and also for the PhD. Since he has secured All India 43 rank in the PG exam and All India 9th rank in the PhD exam. So he will be able to cover the things in the perspective of both the PG students and the PhD students who are willing to give this exam in the future years. Uh, Devnath, I welcome you to this session. First of all, thank you so much for uh, sparing your valuable time to connect with us and uh, guide all of your juniors. So before we start discussing about uh, the different things regarding your preparation, I would like to request to just kindly introduce yourself. Thank you, uh, Agriadik, for this uh, opportunity. And myself, Devna Sarkar, I completed my BSc Agriculture and MSc in Soil Science from Bidhan Chandra Fushibi Shavitala, Mohanpur. And I secured All India Rank 9 in SRS and also qualified UUC net in environmental science. So, oh. that's yeah. all. Thank you so much, Devnath, uh, for a clear introduction. So, let us move forward and discuss about the different things about your subjects. I'm very much curious to know about your subject and your complete journey for this ICR PG and the PhD exam. So first thing to ask, like why you have uh, decided to go for the PhD after PG? So what was the reason behind that? So actually, uh, uh, I was uh, in, in 12 plus, I was very much uh, keen to chemistry and physics. So that combination was uh, found in the soil science and to that soil science attracted me. So after completing my BSc, I thought about that, uh, that I should pursue my higher study in that center. And then I searched and consulted with my teachers and they also suggested to continue to PhD. And that is why I- so This is for the subject that interest that why you have chosen the soil sciences. So actually no. you see uh, a crop variety, how, however that, good it is it will not produce enough yield if the soil is not healthy and how much crop protection practices you put into you cannot expect a good harvest if the soil is not fertile enough so this soil science helps us to manipulate the soil in a way that can produce a good uh, yield and maintain the soil health for upcoming future generations Okay. So, so basically right. because of the uh, importance and the potential of the subjects and your interest in the subject, you have chosen this soil science and you wanted to pursue your higher studies in the same subject. Okay, that's very passionate. So you are very passionate about the subjects. That's very good. So let us just jump into the things of SRF and also like students, they might be knowing already knowing about the PG pattern. I'll just uh, remind the PG pattern once before we start the PhD pattern. The PG pattern or the ICR PG exams will be of total 120 questions with the 120 minutes, that is two hours. And the syllabus for the ICR PG is available in the ICR website. If you have not gone through it, the link will be available in the description box. Just go through the PG syllabus and also with the PhD syllabus. And for the PhD syllabus, uh, the Devnath will be explaining it right now uh, regarding each subject of soil science. Yes, please. So now you will discuss about the SRF exam pattern. So unlike GRF, the SRF uh, exam pattern is divided into three parts. And the part one consists of 20 questions that uh, combines the general agriculture and different economic and current affair aspects. Then the part B, which combines the different subject group like agronomy, agriculture, chemicals, soil science, water science, technology. Then comes the part C, which consists of 50 questions and it is mainly the core soil science subject. So as we I said, the, part by it part. consists of 120 questions and 120 minutes. And this 120 questions is divided into three parts, part A, part B, and part C. 
part a consists of 20 questions part b consists of 50 and part c consists of 50 questions and the details of the individual parts he has clearly mentioned okay so let us move to the next slide yeah please start uh, from here like what you wanted to explain from this slide so now we'll discuss part by part for part a uh, i hope uh, these two books that is the a competitive book of agriculture by Nimraj Shunda and Fundamentals of Agriculture by Olum Kattan have been read, uh, read by most of the students because these are very much uh, basic books for the general agriculture purposes. And then uh, you should follow different uh, telegram channel, inst Instagram pages of different agriculture institute like ICR, APEDA for uh, different current affairs update and different new policy uh, update also. And for the economic portion, because uh, in the last few uh, previous year questions, you may see where two to three questions have been asked from the economic content. So for that, uh, you you may consult the ICL e-courses of the uh, undergraduate course. Okay. And for for the economics, so this ICL e-courses link will be provided in the description. So Up if you to want the, to. So if you want to avail it or if you want to just know more about this or download this document, you can click on the link and download it. So this is all about the part A, right? So can we move forward to the part B? Yes, sir. Okay. So now uh, we'll discuss about the soil science subject. So these four books are uh, the foundation of the soil science. That is the fundamentals of soil science. Uh, soil Science and Introduction by Indian Society of Soil Science. Then comes the Textbook of Soil Science by Vishwas and Mukherjee. And then comes the Soil Science Treatise by ETLA Satmanarayana Sir. So these four books are very much important. Both the uh, books of Indian Society of Soil Science are very much important for all all India competitive exams. Uh, not only for soil science but also for agronomy students and any uh, research related exams. And textbook of soil science is also very much important for both GRF and SRF. And the soil science data is, it, it em encompasses all the soil science book uh, in a very concise and in, in a gist manner. So reading a soil science data uh, in the last minute will, um, will, it will make it possible for quick revision. So these four books are must read. So now for course soil science group. Uh, soil physics, if we consider soil physics, then textbook of soil physics by Saha and Saha is a good uh, book for soil physics. Then comes the introduction to environmental soil physics by Daniel Hillel. So, uh, in the textbook of soil physics, there are MCQ and different types of multiple choice, fill in the blanks type uh, question, SAQ. Uh, so practicing all those questions, solving all those questions will give you a deeper understanding for the subject. Along with that, uh, studying few topics from that environmental soil physics by Daniel Hillel also uh, clears the uh, concept, uh, especially the soil water. Uh, it has very large description of different uh, mechanisms of soil water movement, soil water measurement, so that will help in a long run. Then comes the soil science, uh, soil chemistry. So for that, principles of soil chemistry by Kim H10 is very much uh, important. And all the chapters are not needed to be uh, read. Uh, you may only focus on the colloidal chemistry, uh, uh, ion adsorption, then ion exchange. Uh, reading all uh, these topics will will be enough. Okay, and studying the soil chemistry portion from the Soil science and introduction from Indian Society of Soil Science will uh, will be enough for GRF and also for SRF. And for GRF student, uh, there is no need to study uh, the Kim H10. Okay, then comes the soil fertility. It is a very vast topic of soil science. Okay, so for that, soil fertility and fertilizer is a very much a very good book. For soil fertility, the concept it encompasses, the book encompasses all the aspects of soil fertility from problem soils to chemistry of different nutrients in soil. Uh, they are uh, in the, they are maintaining uh, maintenance in soil in agricultural field uh, is very vividly written. Okay, so uh, you can go through this book that will 
help and along with that because there are uh, one two three questions have been asked every year from the manufacturing processes of different fertilizers so for that reason uh, you, you you may consult this fertilizer test book by ranjan uh, ranjan kumar bossa sir and you you may only focus on that topic okay and along with that there are mcq questions previous year jrf srf question have been added uh, at the uh, end of each, each and every chapter so that will be pretty much helpful okay so that is all for the soil fertility portion then comes the soil pedology so starting the both the indian society of soil science book and the uh, soil science treatise will be more than enough for soil pedology portion but uh, with addition you may also go through this a textbook of pedology by j sehgal sir so that will also add a extra point to your preparation okay so but i will suggest that uh, reading both the ipf book will be enough for a uh, jrf and srf aspect okay so now we will go through the subject group uh for agronomy because limited the time of preparation we cannot go through different agronomy uh books okay for there be different topic that is not possible so there is a very much good book that is the agronomy facts on competition by rs minas sir so this book is very comprehensively written and filled with information so you have to read this book very cautiously because uh, each and every line has a question like you, you may prepare thousands of questions from only one chapter okay so for that reason you may start reading this book from the uh, start of your preparation because uh, memorizing this book will take lot of time okay so you don't need to study all the book okay so you may skip the wheat portion because there are hardly one or two questions asked from the wheat okay so you may only focus on these topics that is the tillage part soil fertility water management dry land agriculture cropping system and agricultural statistics along with that field crops you may also read it from nimra sundar but i will suggest you go through the basic points of each and every crops especially the commercial crops because in this year there are several questions are asked from the tobacco okay so reading all these chapters will will be enough for the agronomy uh, part okay so now the water science technology so the most of the questions that are asked in the previous years are only related to uh, different scheme related to uh, water management different current data on water usage around the globe or around the country okay so uh, for that you cannot rely on only one book so you have to do some google and collect those information from different reliable websites okay for government scheme you may search the uh, ministry of jal shakti and from there you can you may uh, get some names and some points regarding different schemes and there are some questions are asked in 2022 probably about the, uh, the chairman of different uh, organizations so for that also you may go through uh, the those websites you may get the desired results along with that the water management chapter from the uh, competitive book of agronomy will be very much helpful for this water science technology portion and you may uh, read this book soil at objective in soil and water conservation engineering this will, this will be a kind of helpful for revising all the uh, questions and you may also get some new uh, information regarding the water science technology okay then comes the agricultural chemicals um, this is a common uh, portion for the jrf and srf uh, exam uh, for jrf aspirants the uh, uh, for jrf not all jrf but for srf also The, the objective agricultural chemicals by orkodev mukhopadhyay sir uh, is a very much helpful book because 
this book has been divided in several chapters according to syllabus. Not only that, it comprises of theory portions also, along with MCQ portions. Okay. And all the MCQ questions are very much important questions. So reading these books will be uh, more than enough for the agricultural chemicals for the GRF and FRF also. And uh, similar to the RS Minasar's book, that is, the, that is uh, as this book of agricultural chemicals and filled with numerous information. So you have to read this book several times. So I will suggest to read this book from the start of your preparation. Okay. And here is the new book that is the Unveiled Agrochemicals by Shatam Rawat sir. And this book is also very much helpful because this book got all the features of uh, objective agricultural chemicals along with the solved previous year question. So this is the added benefit for this book also. So you may choose accordingly which book you will buy or read. And last portion that is the required for the SRF aspirant, not for the JRF aspirants, that is the statistic, the statistic portion. So most of the questions are asked from the uh, experimental designs only, but uh, the, along with that, the central tendency, mean, median, mode, then the dispersion, variance, standard deviation, that may also be asked. Okay, so for that, uh, agronomy facts for competition has a very uh, concisely written agricultural statistics portion along with you may go through your UG notes for your uh, UG university or you may download it from uh, ICD courses also. Okay. And last here are some suggestions or important point that to be noted because uh, <coughs> there, are, there have been seen that multiple questions have been repeated year after year. So practicing previous year question paper will be a bonus point for you. So practice previous year question paper as much as you can and study the uh, area that has been repeated many times in exams. Okay. Limit your study resources. It will help in revision because if you write, study from different books, so revising all those books will be difficult during the last hour. Okay. Uh, for SRF aspirants, uh, there, there is very little time for preparation actually because due to lab work, field work, uh, class work. So it will be very difficult for managing all those things. So make a strategy when we will uh, study. Okay, so it is not that you have to study all day uh, four to five hours. If uh, someday you will get that time for your studying, but someday you will not get that. So make your strategy and be consistent with it. And in example, all the questions are not meant to be attempted. Okay, so choose smartly which question you will attempt and skip the remaining. Try to get less negative marks if as much as you can get. Okay. And stay focused and consistent with your preparation. And my best wishes to all the students. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for providing the complete details about uh, this ICR PG and PhD entrance exam. I guess like uh, this video will be a lot more beneficial for the students who will be giving their exam in both ICR PG and the PhD. Students, like if you have any queries related to the books that Devna has suggested or uh, he has mentioned, so you can always comment on this video and the complete links of the books that he has mentioned will be available in the description box. So you can go and uh, check the links and you can purchase the books from there. And if you are looking forward for the complete guidance for your ICR PG exam from the scratch, you can always consider our online courses which are available in our agreed platform where the top qualified mentors from IRA and other top agricultural universities will be teaching you from the basics to the advanced where they will be able to cover the entire syllabus and boost your preparation. So if there are any other queries, you can contact us on the number that is displayed on the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.